got some good news to share with you today. Let's go ahead, bring in journalist turned author Michelle Figueroa to the show. She is the founder of the Good News Movement, which was a social networking platform to spread good news. And well, she's now turned that into a children's book. I am excited to welcome Michelle, author of A Good Thing Happened Today. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. I can't start the day any better by sharing good news. So I'm very happy. So I've been so excited to talk with you about this. And, and you and I were even chatting before we get started, you know, being in the news business, of course, so many people now want that outlet of good news kind of sprinkled into, you know, the daily headlines, if you will. And so we've seen that movement kind of happen. Why did you decide to take it a step further? Right. I think it, uh, as a journalist, I was just tired of not being able to share all the wonderful good news stories that I naturally gravitated toward. And so I decided to create my own platform. And uh, this was before the pandemic and people needed it. And during the pandemic, people needed it even more. So uh, basically uh, it was nice to finally have a centralized place to only share good news. And now I'm really happy that good news is in vogue and that people are creating their good news verticals, all the different networks. And I think it's necessary. I mean, we have to represent uh, reality and it's not balanced. You know, if we only share all the bad things that are happening, I think at least equal weight should be given to good news. So that's my job to every day uh, collect and share the good news. And people send me messages about every couple of minutes. I will, that's what I want to dive into, where you get your content. And, and I was sharing with you also before we got started here that I love the show that I get to work on now because we get to talk with people who are passionate about things. But people all have a story that they want to share. So I can only imagine how many pitches you receive. Talk about how you are able to make it happen. Yeah, I mean, I think it's great that the technology allows people to send, you know, imagine 30 years ago, you'd have to wait for a whole news crew, news crew to go to your house to report on the story. Um, now people are sending their own videos uh, and their own stories uh, through their cell phone. And I figured, you know, if people are on their phone at least four hours a day, let's reach them where they are. And so they're there, they have their good news, they send it to me. I try to get to every message and read them all. And uh, it's really been a collective effort. And that's why I gave it the name Good News Movement, because it's really an effort from everyone. Everyone that joins uh, becomes a producer, I guess you could say. I love that. I love being able to kind of, you know, dive into maybe some of the behind the scenes for people and being able to spread that message. But now going a step further with the children's book, why was this important for you to do? Well, as a mother myself, I realized it's so important what we feed children in those formative years when their brains architecture is just kind of forming and to hear those positive messages that they can be the good. They don't have to wait till they grow up. There are so many stories of kids doing good that I've featured, whether it's kids getting together and painting homes after a hurricane or, you know, a kid sewing uh, a quilt out of his old shirts for, for someone experiencing homelessness. There's so many ways for kids to make a difference. And I hope that when people, when kids read this book, they're inspired uh, to either do something similar that they read or it inspires a different idea. And if I can affect one kid, then I think my mission is accomplished with this book. Oh, I love hearing that. Hey, Michelle, I, maybe I'm saving some of the more difficult ones till the end. Since you have been working on this, do you have that one story or maybe that genre of stories that really has hit home for you, that one has maybe even changed you and, and had that feeling of, yes, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do right now in my life that you've been able to follow up with? I 100% think that this is my calling. And I think that's part of the success because it I never went into it as a business model. Mm -hmm. These are stories that move me and stories that I love to share. A favorite, yes, I have a friend in Argentina uh, whose girlfriend was, was a musician and she passed away. And so in her honor, he actually got the Symphony of Buenos Aires to go to hospitals and perform music in her honor for, for sick patients. And I thought that's so beautiful that out of something bad, you can create something good and something powerful. And we've all gone through something that was hard in life. I think we all can share that common experience, but the human spirit is so resilient. And I think that was a, a great example of, of how to move forward, to move forward with good and 
you know, and, and try to be the good. The good isn't always happening somewhere else. And I think the book was key in showing that you just need to open your eyes to all the good that's happening around you. And uh, it can be easy to miss it if you're focused on the past or the future or, or your phone. So I hope people open their eyes to good news and and kind of listen to what the world is telling them because it, there's there's a lot of noise. So we just need to kind of silence and, and look for the good. Well, I love that you are doing this. Again, we want to stress the children's book, A Good Thing Happened Today, out today wherever mm -hmm. books are sold. It was great talking with you. You know, it's just a reminder. Everybody has their own story, and the fact you are pushing the good things, I think it's pretty fabulous. Thank you again for your time. Thank you. It's such a pleasure.